Let's solve one previous question of graph theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2022, question number 42. Which of the properties hold for the adjacency matrix A of a simple, undirected, unweighted graph having n vertices? And four options are given. Let me analyze one by one option. Option A, the diagonal entries of A square are the degrees of the vertices of the graph. Let me take a adjacency matrix. This is the adjacency matrix. Now graph of A. So there are three vertex x, y, z. So x to y is 1, x to z is 1 means x is connected with y and z, y, z are connected with x. Next we will find A square. Simply we will multiply A with A. I hope you guys know how to do matrix multiplication. In A square now diagonal entries are 2, 1, 1. So x degree is 2, y degree is 1, z degree is 1. It's true. The diagonal entries of A square are the degrees of vertices of the graph. Next option B, if the graph is connected, this graph is connected, then none of the entries of a power n minus 1 plus i n can be 0. Now i power n minus 1 here, 3 vertices, so n equals to 3, i power 3 minus 1 means i square. We already have i square for this graph plus i n that is the identity graph so let me add i square with i 3 result will be 2 plus 1 3 then this 1 plus 1 2 here will be 1 then 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 2 now in this graph there are some zeros but here in option it's given none of the entries can be 0 but we already found 0 right so option b is false next option c if the sum of the all element of a is at most 2 multiplication n minus 1 then the graph must be acyclic. So to prove this I have to take a cyclic graph. I need to take another example. Here x y z is cycle. There is another vertex w. It is a disconnected graph having two component. x y z is one component. w is another component. Next we will find the adjacency matrix for this. x is connected with y z. y is connected with x and z. z is connected with x, y, w, all entries are 0. Now add all elements of this. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So there are 6 1. So it's 6. 2 into 4 minus 1. Yes. 2 into 3. 6. We got at most 2 into n minus 1. Then graph must be acyclic. But here there is a cycle. x, y, z is a cycle. Hence option C is also false. Next option D. If there is at least a 1 in each of the edge row and column then the graph must be connected. Let's take a example. We will take another graph. Let me take a disconnected graph and try to find whether there can be 1 in every row and every column. So this this is a disconnected graph having four vertex x, y, z, w. Next, we will write the adjacency matrix for this. So, x is adjacent with y, y is adjacent with x, z is adjacent with w, w is adjacent with z. There is a 1 in every row and every column. But, is it connected? No. This is a disconnected graph having two components. Here it is given if there is a 1 in each row or column, then graph must be connected. But no. No, graph is not connected. Hence, option D is also false. We found option B is false, option C is false, option D is false. Only option A is correct. The diagonal entries of A square are the degree of vertices of the graph. This is true. I already discussed adjacency matrix. Just go through the lecture. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.